Korea and Japan are the only two countries in the world requiring tattoo artists to hold a doctor's license. I contacted four women in Seoul who agreed to let me into their lives for an interview and a photo shoot. In Seoul, the plastic surgery capital of the world, eyelid surgeries are more acceptable than tattoos. But in the last five years, it seems, getting inked has become more popular. Many young tattoo artists, particularly women, have managed to use Instagram to grow their businesses. But what they do is illegal, and they all run the risk of prosecution. Holy used to run a tattoo studio, but she was shut down after authorities ordered her a fine of 3 million won, or 4,500 US dollars, for not having a valid medical license. To keep her art going, she keeps a day job as a waitress, and at night, she performs tattoos from her home studio. This is the Japanese style, right? Maybe I mix it. So many tattoo artists, woman artists, to here, but no man artists, but it's a good thing to say. I think 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 it's a good thing to say. 단지 또그 손님들은 그냥 그 여자 타투이스트를 만을 보러 가는 그런 경우가 있는데. I meet Yunha, an Oriental painting student who sees tattooing as an alternative medium for her art. 그러니까 그림을 그리면 소통이 좀 간접적이라는 생각이 들었는데 타투로 만약에 내 그림을 다른 사람이 그 사람 몸에 가지게 되면 그거는 되게 직접적인 내 나와 내 작업과 그 사람 간의 소통이라는 생각이 들어. Tattooist Banu gave up her fashion design studies to cater to the strong demand of female customers on her waiting list. Ninety percent of my customers are women, and because I think my art are so girly <laughs> and colorful. The watercolor and fine line style is more popular. So young, youngest people also like these tattoos. The older people see tattoo as a uh, gang, like, you know, <laughs> nowadays there's so many tattoo artists in Korea. I think because it's illegal. <laughs> Forbidden fruit is the sweetest. Perhaps that encouraged the popularity of tattoos, making it seem cool. Huge tattoo academy in Korea and so many tattoo artists in Korea, but they didn't protect by law. So if I'm, I'm gonna be the tattoo artist, maybe I'm gonna jail or something. Maybe I'm doing illegal because I'm not a doctor. I don't have a license. Because it's strange. If you get a tattoo, they use a lot of stuff, right? The machine and tips and needles. In Korea, they are all illegal to buy it and use it. The other countries, they are they are all have license about tattoo or piercing and it's legal and it's safe. We have to license or doing something for our tattoo artists or piercing artists or body modification artists so they they can do their job better and safe and clean and survive i decided to fly to osaka japan but when i sent some questions over my interviewee changed her mind about our appointment the stigma of going public with a tattoo was too much to bear finally i connect with maya who agrees to be interviewed as japanese who were born here and raised here. You should know that Japan is not acceptable before you get tattoos. I am not allowed to go to hot spring, beaches, gym. Tattoo has been a symbol of Yakuza, which is gang. Who knows, it's 
kind of fashion, but still people are not used to watch people who has tattoos on the street or in the train. I try not to show them. But when I can't hide them all, they are very surprised about Japanese girl having a tattoo. And if you have a tattoo, that means you don't have a proper job. Things may not be as bad in Korea, but the same stigma applies. If you got tattoo like hand or leg, you can't get a job. So if you freelancer or like programmer or illustrator, like just like me, then go ahead, get some cool thing, cool stuff. But if you're not, don't. I'm not so brave, but. I do everything if I want because I did my art for a long time and I want to work for my art, my own art. At the time of this filming, Holly continues to operate from her home. When I do tattoos, I feel like I'm alive.